guys, welcome to our very first deck tech. For uh, the first one, I thought I would show you guys my uh, all-time precious and most favoritist deck, my uh, Rise the Redeemed uh, Squirrel deck. It's, uh, it's way too much money that I spent on this. Here's my foil rice that Alex got me. And then here's my normal one signed by Mr. Steve Prescott. And then um, also here's a, form, a foil form of the squirrel that my other friend Demi got me. Uh, people won't let me play it in the deck though um, because it's unhinged, but uh, you know, they can suck it. But cause, so I keep it with my deck. Um, so here are just some lands first. I'll have the deck list in the description. But um, I thought that we could just go through the deck piece by piece and kind of check out what I got here. These are just some lame planes. I've got some petal grove, a little reflecting pool. This is my savanna that I shouldn't have spent money on, but it was a pretty good deal. It was like, I think I got it for like 52 at uh, GP Cleveland. Um, so go ahead and make fun of me or whatever you want. For that, uh, I really like I really like Cross and Virgin this deck. A lot of people don't like it and say that wastes time. It probably does, but there's that. Here's a Temple Garden. Here's my uh, wooded bastion that I don't know if you can see it, but Frank the Tank himself signed for me. He actually um, got it signed by the artist, and this was his. And he was like, you know who needs this, Megan? So a big shout out to Mister the Tank, who's just awesome and a good friend. Um, and also I like Selesnia Sanctuary. It's uh, come in handy for me like on like turn one stuff. Um, I know again a lot of people don't like those lands but I do. Um, so basically the point of this deck is to take all of the uh, legal squirrel cards that exist and try to make them as good as possible. Now as um, I'm sure you guys know the squirrel cards that are out aren't extremely just great at all. This is something that uh, someone made me from uh, my Darium's days. This was really nice. Um, so this is also like big memory deck for me, but yeah, so we'll be getting on the squirrel cards in a few. So <sighs> these <laughs> the squirrel cards usually aren't that great. Uh, this is Nut Collector. This is probably my least favorite squirrel card just because it's, you know, it's uh, six CMC for a one one and then all you get is a one one squirrel every turn and I mean it has threshold for other squirrels but threshold is actually pretty useless in this deck um, which I should probably fix so threshold is uh, if you have seven or more uh, cards in your graveyard um, you get a, a special ability so he's my least favorite uh, guy Druid's Call is one that I recently got these uh, actually um, Nut Collector and Druid's Call just came in the mail for me um, Druid's Call is actually probably one of the more useful uh, squirrel cards that I'll have in this deck. Uh, Leader of the Hollows is actually super cool. I didn't know about this card that produced squirrel tokens until the Mana Sources uh, casual uh, squirrel uh, deck tech came out and I was very excited. So big shout out to Wedge. Um, and then Deranged Hermit, which is probably one of my favorite uh, cards that produces squirrel tokens, just because of the echo. I know echo probably isn't everyone's favorite mechanic. However, I really enjoy, um, you know, having to sack it and then, of course, bringing it back with, like, another ability in my deck and then getting for more squirrel tokens. So those are always awesome. This is the most useless squirrel card I have in this deck. Um, I have to have it in there because it's a squirrel beast. And I don't, I don't know if you can get much better than that flavor-wise. I'm one of those slave-to-flavor kind of people. Um, but as you can see, it's like this disgusting squirrel monster that's covered in moss. Uh, so it's perfect. Um, and it has Threshold, um, another extremely useless ability. But it does get 7-7 seven, seven if for some reason you do have uh, seven cards in your graveyard. So a squirrel nest is probably the very best um, squirrel card that exists, in my opinion. Not only for the Earthcraft combo which I do have in here but um it's just all together really good and also that art on there there's just this vicious squirrel with like a human eyeball it's really good squirrel mob pretty self-explanatory gets one one for each other squirrel in play acorn catapult's pretty cool because um you can deal one damage to uh yourself and then you know get a squirrel token if you're in a dire need of of squirrely tokenness uh acorn harvest it's a sorcery with flashback, Chatter of the Squirrel, 
sorcery, also with flashbacks, so pretty good. Uh, Squirrel Wrangler is okay if you have like a lot of land destruction, um, like available. If not, it's just okay. Uh, so here we get into I think the all the artifacts. I only have three in this deck. Bow of Nylia is nice just to give all of your tokens. Um, uh, what do you call it? A death touch. Uh, duh. So, I mean, who doesn't want, like, 10 million squirrels with Death Touch? Uh, again, who doesn't want 10 mil million squirrels with Flying, for Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, and Protection from Black and Red? Like, that's just a no-brainer. Um, and, of course, Soul Ring. Uh, so, the Planeswalkers I have in here are uh, Johnny Goldmane, especially for the uh, Avatar Creature token. I don't think I've ever had anyone in a game let me alt the Sajani, unfortunately, but the day will come. Uh, group Wild Speaker, I do like his uh, minus one and his plus one, especially when you play him. And, I mean, and his minus four, but he's all around like an extremely useful uh, Planeswalker. So is Elspeth's Sun's Champion, especially for her plus one. When you're running uh, tokens, there's just nothing better than just three one one white soldiers just right off the bat. Um, and then, of course, the minus eight for a Johnny Call of the Pride, Collar of the Pride is just obnoxious. Um, so I have a few sorceries in here. Farseek, of course, in case you're missing a plane or a land. Cultivate. It's for, you know, mana fixing. Overrun is really nice when you just have put out a ton of tokens at one time and just decide to wreck someone's face. Um, it is also the only, um, I think, board wipe I have in here. Just because, I mean, how fitting is it? It's perfect. Uh, Parallel Evolution basically does exactly what Rice the Redeemed does, uh, but in case someone's tucked my commander, which, you know, that's pretty useless now to that new commander ruling. Tell me what you think about that, bull cockamamie in the comments, friends. Anyway, I'm not a really big fan of that, um, as you can tell. But, yeah, so I guess that's pretty useless now. Also, um, Enlightened Tutor, just for, for some tutor, tutor business. Congregation at Dawn is a card that uh, I don't really see very often. However, it is really nice in this deck, especially for putting just like Elvish Piper on there and then something huge if you don't have the, like, the mana for it. Um, I don't know, it's just a really fun card that I enjoy a whole lot, especially being true to heart Timmy. Uh, Path to Exile, um, pretty useless now. Just kidding, it's still really useful, um, but you can't tuck anything, so there's that. White Sun Xena is pretty self-explanatory. Condemn, um, also uh, usefulness has gone down lately because of the terrible, terrible things that have been happening. Um, I don't, I'm going to stop talking about that now. Cross and Grip, I mean, this is just, there's not like a ton of, um, like, oh, what do you call it? There aren't a ton of answers in this deck. Which, by, I mean, like, when people try to, like, mess this deck up, it's pro probably, like, really easily messed up, but... Uh, it just does what it does, which is make squirrels. Celestia Charm, just really useful. Uh, Advent of the Worm. It's not, the, like, the best token creator, but uh, it's 5-5 five, five Worm, so why not? Uh, Eldemiri's Call, pretty self-explanatory. Brawn is nice when you uh, get that in the uh, graveyard, but people are usually too smart for this. What's really great about um, Sigil Captain is that a lot of the tokens I produce in this deck are 1-1s. One so... Um, I mean, who doesn't want two one one counters on any tokens that come under the battlefield with it? Super cool. Uh, this is just like a nice toolbox card in case I'm strapped for tokens. Twilight Drover is actually like pretty overpowered in my opinion for this um, specific deck. People usually shut it down pretty fast. Uh, so then there's Elvish Piper, as I said, works with the Congregation at Dawn. So does Fauna Shaman really well. Um, this is my nice signed one by Steve Prescott for all you big dumb nerds. Uh, I have this nice uh, foil Tristani Summoner, which I am a big fan of. She's really cool, uh, and actually not that much for all the tokens that she produces. Um, yeah, she's uh, pretty pretty. Vigor is just like absolutely obnoxious in this deck. Um, let's see, Avenger of Zendikar, I'm sure you can imagine why. These are like my heavy duty guys. Voice of Resurgence, also super nice for this deck. Um, one of my favorite cards to get opening hand. Also, uh, Tulsmir Wolfblood. This could be an, another like optional uh, commander of this kind of thing, just to give everything a little boost. Uh, I got your um, the legendary 2-2 that it can produce whenever. I really like the flavor of that card as well. Uh, Trustani for life gain, because I mean, you need to have that option for EDH. Uh, Geist Honored Monk, of course. Somberwild Sage, I mean, it's just 
It's just good. It's just good to have. Um, so about the Earthcraft combo that I have in here, I don't like to use it um, with Squirrel's Nest unless I feel like I have to, especially if I want to end a game. Um, that's really the only reason I have it in here. However, um, Earthcraft works well even without Squirrel's Nest because it's just a completely ridiculous card that I really enjoy having in the deck. Luminarch Ascension, pretty OP, especially when you get it in uh, the beginning of your hand. I'm hoping you can read those. Oh, the description's okay, yeah. Exploration, self-explanatory, Parallel Lives, one of my favorites. Also, like, one of my favorite arts, just really gorgeous. Um, let's see, Primal Vigor. Yeah, Primal, I mean, duh. Do I need to say more? Also, this is a really good utility. I used to have a Loxodon that would do basically the same thing, only without extort, and it's like, why wouldn't I just have this for, like, two less CMC? Pretty obvious. Primeval Bounty is just, I like having this card a lot. I know it's not the greatest one, but it just gives me so many options. I know it's expensive, but I just really like it. Doubling Season, of course, have the really beautiful Ravnica art. Uh, true, True Conviction, I mean... Double strike, lifelink, what more can you say? This is a pretty self-explanatory deck. Like, you get it, and you're like, oh, I'm supposed to do this, like, one thing, and then here's, like, a subset of things that I can also do that relate to the one thing. It's not not super complicated. Um, um, Mirari's Wake, of course. Just get a little more land. R Rites of Flourishing. I do enjoy um, a good uh, pillow fort deck, so. And let's see, Aura Shards for if I want to get mean. Let's see, Mana Reflection, signed by Therese Nielsen, very pretty. And Beastmaster Ascension, oh, this is really good for when you uh, just get out um, a bunch of tokens then decide to make them all, what, like, six sixes, who cares. And then this one is my favorite troll card just ever. Like, who doesn't want to, like, lignify someone's commander? It's just beautiful. So let me know uh, what changes you think I should make to the deck. Uh, here are my hands, so that's kind of awkward. Let me just... There you go. There's some cards. So uh, leave me a comment about um, what you liked about the deck, what you didn't like, what you think I could improve, some card suggestions for what I could put in and change, because, you know, this is a family here, and we all get to have our opinions. Also, um, Tyler probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but he um, he's thinking about uh, selling out of the game, and uh, I've been trying to convince him to... Uh, do a deck tech of his Nekusar deck, which is just absolutely incredible. So I think you should harass him in the comments and on other forms of social media as well. Um, and I'm sure he'll he'll love it because I love harass harassment, and so does he. So I will see you guys soon with more videos, and I miss you, and I'll see you soon. I just I just want to give you a hug. Goodbye.